Confucius says that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So it is time to deal with Van der Leppert Jan, and I'm going to put her into, well, the same thing that I did with Van der Denisoniana, but we're going to have a look at Van der Denisoniana after this, because there has been some developments, <laughs> and they're not good. That is why this pot here is available for van der Leppard Jan. Clearly all the misting, etc., has produced absolutely no results. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get my sprayer and clean that up. Humidity and gunk in the stem providing more humidity, algae in the stem providing nutrients. All of that I thought would trigger some form of life something to come out of her and she is declining very very quickly now as well but I have a little bit more leaves left of her so I'm going to intervene much sooner than I did with a Denisoniana by the way hello thank you for clicking on this video you can see that I'm in a hurry to get something done <laughs> I didn't say hello I appreciate that you're here so this one is now going to go into a bucket and will always have water around it and we shall see what happens. I really did think that the summer of 2022 would be the summer when things turn around for the better. I was wrong. Vanda Leopard John. Swan song, last hurrah, whatever, we shall give it a go. So she is now in that pot where the Denisoniana and her keiki were, and I've got her filled to the base of where the leaves are with fertilized water, 300 parts per million. We saw in the opening shots that the stem was still green. Let's see what happens. We're going to give it a goo. She is going to be protected in a bright light, but not direct sun anymore. And well, we shall see. Now let's have a look. Well, we can keep her as a backdrop for as long as we've got her. But let's have a look at the Denisoniana. <clears throat> this was the big one. Yeah. Taken the stem right down, removed everything that was around the base because it made absolutely no sense. The roots were shot anyway. So why keep all of that? And I cut into green again and filled her up with water. And here's the keiki. Having done the same thing, removed the base of the stem, and now we wait. Patetico. Yes, I have bruises in my backside from kicking myself for having done this with the copper fungicide. But I just wanted to document that, let you know where we're at. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about what happened, if you're new to my channel, I'll be very happy to explain in the comments and link you to some videos. I didn't want to make this so long because a lot of people already hopefully know about the history of my copper overdose in 2021. I appreciate your time. My self-esteem is once again at a very low point, so a thumbs up would be amazing. And if you've got a second device, do that as well. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Oh, something good has to come out of this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you are having as beautiful of a sunny day as I am. Whatever you're doing on a day like this, I have a condition for you. Just make sure that you stay safe, please. Take care. Bye.